Magandang araw mga pre. Mayong adlaw po sa mga Bisaya diha. Bago ang lahat ay gusto kong pasalamatan at i-shout out ang mga masugid kong subscriber na walang sawang sumusuporta at nanonood sa mga videos ko. Jopi Langobon, na taga Ipil Sambuanga. J Lord Tipudan, taga Davao. Braulio Nara, Rockstar Gabito, taga Cebu. Zaldi Luzara, Rongel Fernandez. Maraming salamat mga pre. November 27, 2010, muling pinamalas ang angking tibay at galing ni Juan Manuel Dinamita Marquez nang kalabanin niya ang tinaguriang Arturo Gatti. Malaturo kung lumaban, heavy puncher at nakahelmet pa ito during entrance na malas partan na Australiano na si Michael Katsidis. Katsidis now lives! Ang laban na ito ay kinukonsiderang the best fight of 2010. Sa laban na ito muling pinatunayan ni Dinamita kung gaano siya kalakas dahil kahit natumba siya o na knockdown ay gaya pa rin ang ginawa niya sa laban nila ni Manny Pacquiao na bumangon at lumaban. Sabay nating balikan at pag-usapan ang nasabing bakbakan na kung saan kahit bumagsak si Dinamita ay bumangon at talunin ang kalabang toro. Sa laban na ito, bitbit ni Juan Manuel Dinamita Marquez ang kartadang 51 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw, at 37 dito by a knockout. At si Michael Katsidis naman ay may record na 27 wins, 2 losses, at 22 dito by a knockout. Sa unang round pa lang ay todo bakbaka na agad. Like a, like a tulip bulb and stay there. And that's his best chance of winning. possible to upset Marquez, lean on him, push him, bang him, do it. make him uncomfortable. Do it right in there is where he's got to be. Perfect body shot. Those left hooks to the body, unbelievable. Katsidis trying to chop with the left hook, put pressure on Marquez. Hear him thinking his way through the fight. Yes. It's amazing to watch his focus. Now the fight is going to have to be just what I thought it was going to be. Look at the combination. Sa third round, ay huli ng malamartil yung left hook si Dinamita Marquez na nagpabagsak sa kanya. Pero nakabangon at kahit inundayan pa ito ng maraming kombinasyon ni Katsidis ay makikitang hindi talaga yung mayakap si Marquez. At kahit halatang hilo pa ito ay bumabato pa rin ito ng mga pamatay niyang counter. Just as he told us. What an opportunity. Remember that Marquez survived. Those four knockdowns by Pacquiao. Katsidis caught him with a left hook again. Mark Holding. Oh, Marquez is a very strong fighter. Katsidis had to be careful, he said. Marquez is getting his bearings yeah. back. He's going to try to find an opportunity to go right back at Katsidis. But you Hard left to... hook by Marquez. So you still have to be careful with him. He's a very dangerous player. Marquez thinks he has his legs back. Watch We shall see whether he does. Now's the time to go to his body, as he just did. Katsidis is trying to land one more big left. Hook. So many clean blows that he let his guard down and but Katsidis tore through it. And now he's trying to permanently vanish with everything on the top. Katsidis' his punches are traveling wider. The chance, the wider his punches went. That's not the way you beat Marquez. Good body shot by Marquez. Trying to take the steam just as he did in coming back in the Diaz fight. What a round! It appears to me that in the wake of the big knockdown on the left hook, Marquez has made a tactical decision to stay closer to Katsidis. Nakarikaber si Dinamita at patuloy ang palitan ng kumbo ng dalawa. Marquez credits in some part his success if you're not a big puncher. And you're right, because you're going to get hit on the way. Juan Manuel Marquez has both out of Katsidis so that he won't be in jeopardy the latter half of the fight. Katsidis landed a huge right hand. 
Marcus comes back with three left hands of his own. This is the kind of fight we expected. Both fighters showing marvelous craft. Watch your hands, watch your hands. This is for the lightweight championship of the world and fully legit. Gatsidis' right eye is beginning to close from the damage caused by Marquez's left jab and left hook. His quick hands, his accuracy, you know, just seems to be landing a clean of hardy shots. Michael coming forward, they had the real good hooks, but I still think one that will mark four left fight. hooks in a row, but you see these. I gave the last round a 10 10 round. Fellas, they fought at any time. Yes, he's fighting a great fight. Between rounds, you heard Smith yeah. say, Give me a different look in the face, show me more desire. Got Cetus responded to him. He has come out and thrown combinations and landed them. I think he's given him very good instruction. And, 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 and he's following him too. He's keeping Marquez trying to get both because Marquez is a bigger puncher. Especially like that, it was clean punches, but just smothered him. Don't push, don't push, don't push. So Marquez is very smart. Fighting a fighter keeps his hands up very high. So he'll, he'll maybe throw a punch up at the top to get his hands up. Then he'll snatch him to the bottom of the left hook. Making Marquez very uncomfortable here. Fight, but it's had a couple of great rounds in it. And the way they're fighting right now, this is remarkable stuff. I mean, they are showing incredible energy to be in the seventh round of a fight which has been fought at this pace. Both of them, Jim, eight weeks. They've been at it for 13 weeks apiece. Look at the number of landed punches in the round. They're fighting within their style. And frankly, look at the accuracy of Marquez with those combinations inside. That's the difference in the fight. The pressure is from the, but the accuracy of the punches is shipped on the inside against Marquez. And Marquez's face is largely unmarked. His eyes aren't swollen at all. Uppercut. He can throw the combination the other way. He can throw the, the, the uppercut, then the left hook to the body. He can put a right cross behind him. He can put a right uppercut behind him. He can do almost anything. I was just thinking, Jim, we've seen him down that I can recall six times. Once against Pereira, which was, he just thinks, get up and keep going, and what's next is more important than what just happened. Well, he's an amazing fighter, and as I said, to get him to show, he's been fighting on this top level for so long. He has stick to it in this, and at the end of the day, he's Mexican to the core. So, what else would you ask for? But I'll tell you what, Casitas is really put into the test tonight. Tremendous. Just against one of the greatest fighters in modern history. Upstairs by Marquez. That seat is keep firing away. Back to the body. And all of his shots are very well placed. Up and him. his head is responding more to the punches. And the crowd knows it. And the crowd it. wants Marquez to come up. He's looking to finish. Watch the come. Pero sa ninth round, tila na pagod na si Katsidis. Tila na ubusan na ng hangin. At napuruhan na rin ng maraming kombinasyon. Ni Dinamita. And Kenny Vela stops the fight. Great call. What a tribute to Marquez. Vela stops the fight with Gatsita still on his feet. Doesn't Marquez close the show? Beginning with that uppercut, Emmanuel. Yeah, that's why he, he mixes up his punches so much. Especially once a guy is tired or either hurt, you can't figure out where the punches are coming from because he shoots them with all angles. And Kenny Vela. Brilliantly, incidentally, saw the same things that we saw in that round. Katsidis' feet getting loose. At dito na nga, tinapos ni Juan Manuel Marquez ang mala Arturo Gatti, heavy puncher, at mala torong lumaban na Australiano via 9th round TKO. WBO, lightweight champion of the world, Juan Manuel Pinamita. Sa laban na ito muling pinatunayan ni Dinamita Marquez kung gaano talaga siya kalakas, kagaling at katibay na Mexican fighter. <laughs>